for my special group. Because see, as a libertarian, we, are, we don't recognize any special interest except that one. And it's the world's smallest. It's you, the individual. That's part of what's wrapped up in that marriage thing. See, I don't even want government to recognize our interpersonal contracts with one another or our relationships because the minute we allow our government to see us as anything other than as an individual, we just lost the whole game. Because then we become groups. Then we become couples. Then we become everything that we don't want to be if we're going to be an independent, responsible, free people. The difference between the libertarian philosophically and all of the other political philosophies is we believe in the inherent goodness of people. And we've seen it play out. The opposite is true of all of the others. They believe if you're not under control, you are out of control. I don't buy it. I have a child. I have to make sure that when the time comes and he says, what did you do when they came and took our rights? I want to be able to say I did something, and I hope you will too. Because as parents and responsible community members, it is our responsibility. Unlike our temporary governor, I will never tell you the reason something didn't get done was because Barack Obama didn't do it. Which is her answer to the border and about 9,000 other things. And I'm sick and tired of it. Now don't get me wrong, I like Jan, I've known her for years. I, she's not a governor. She's scary. She is really, really scary. See the debate. You'll see what I mean. Because many people have heard about that, the long, thoughtless pause. Everybody's heard about that one, right? That's what they publicized. You know what was behind that? I drew the right straw. I got to open. I was sitting 10 inches away from her, and I saw her open, and it, her, her trainers told her, you may not stray from 1070 because that's where you're getting this emotion from. That's where you're getting the support from. They're playing you. So when I got it, I wanted to make sure that we knew that that one single issue could not be the focus of this election. It's far too important. There are human issues. There's education. There's health. There's taxes. There's, all, there's a freaking depression going on out there, and they act like it's not happening. What did Jan do? She said she balanced the budget. She said she cut two billion off. Nonsense. I read it. Okay, yeah, she sliced two billion off, then she raised three billion. Now, English major, not a math major, but I can handle this one. That means we increased the budget by a billion dollars, and yet she still goes out and says she cut the budget. Nonsense. I mean, I, it, it's almost scary to try and rebut all the stuff that she has said because she just makes stuff up. I mean, headless people in the desert? Well, maybe there is one, and I had to sit beside her at the debate. <laughs> but the reality is not here to make fun of them. I mean, they did such a good job by themselves. I begged off of that debate when Ted wanted me to get in when they were going, well, no, you're lying, you're lying, you're in, in, yeah, same thing we saw in the Republican debate. Back and forth, back and forth. I thought it was more important that you would see these children. They were embarrassing me. It's a gubernatorial race and a lot hangs in the balance. If you want a governor who will actually follow the law, who will reduce its size, reduce its scope, so that you don't have to feel like so many others, that you, you just feel like yeah, you should go turn yourself in without ever knowing to who or for what. That's a scary thing, and I saw it before, in the Soviet Union, before it broke up. And it was something decimating to that nation. It was a nation where innovation was squashed, because if you raised your hand and said, I've got a better way of doing something, the people who are profiting from the way it's being done now, they kill you. It's happening here. They're vilified. You get a better idea, and they come after you. You think as a libertarian we don't get threats? <laughs> well, usually most of us are armed. Because we do believe, or at least I believe, the Second Amendment was purposely placed as backup in case the First Amendment didn't get the job done. It was never. And, and J.D. Hayworth and I have been friends for umpteen years. Uh, I, I see big happy yes man. But when I added the last part to that, he cringed when I said it was never about duck hunting. It was always about politician hunting. 
Oh my God, she is just about regular than the floor. But the reality is, these guys know, Jan knows, Terry knows, even Larry knows. It's a scam. It's a scam on you. They want to run and say they're going to be your savior, and I promise you that is not where I'm going. I'll let them be the savior. I want to run to be your servant. So on that note, I hope you've got an idea of what I have to offer Arizona. Real live plans, real live solutions. And the problem is, for them, it ends the problem. We will not have a border discussion in, in a, four years if I'm governor. It will not be an issue. All sides will be totally placated. We do not have to destroy our environment to do that. That's one, and I just, I, well, I just hate racism because I think it's kind of crazy. I mean, even, what was, uh, Oprah Winfrey. She's got white people in the wood pile. I mean, isn't that amazing? None of us are. Right? I mean, come on. Cut it out. There's nobody that we're better than just because of our birth or what skin we're born inside. Nobody. And that's how I feel. I treat everyone fairly and everyone equally. And I hope that that's good enough for you. Because some of these special interests, they get all kind of bent out of shape when they want their special little extra, got to give us this, got to give us that. Nope. I believe in the community. I believe in you. I think you should run your life, not me, because I, Lord knows I don't have a clue how to run your life. All I know how to do is make sure that you're safe in the public thoroughfare, that the roads are paved, the mail gets toted, and that you have an honest judicial system. And I think that's important. Part of my plan, incidentally, I do want to mention just one more thing because jobs are the big issue. People working. We've lost it. 60% of Arizonans are literally one paycheck away from losing it all. 60%. Our, our, I've, been in, I've been talking and engaging with major manufacturers, trying to find out what it's going to take to bring them here. Although at the same time, I, and, and usually it's money, and I say, I can't give you any money. I can't give you any tax breaks because we're going to eliminate the income tax, the property tax, and the death tax because of the morality involved. We cannot allow our government to steal from us and not expect our other fellow citizens to follow suit. I think there's a better way. Now, what I have also proposed is, is to just assage any fears of government not being able to run itself. A single, flat, non-exemption, non-deduction, no offsets, transaction tax on every single transaction involving a corporation. It has to involve a corporation because that's the only ones government has any control over. They cannot tax you. And we are going to go back to those original principles. If you want to see that kind of optimistic Arizona. You want to see an economic vortex that we will create with growth that we have never seen before. Help me. Help me get in. And I say this to you very sincerely. If we do, we will be writing some pages of history. We will have all of the eyes on Arizona, not for the negative effects attached to the tank of, of Jan Brewer, and not to anything else, but for the good things we're doing here. And I'll just tell you, i, I got to tell you this, because the, the only thing, I, there is something I want out of this, just something. I want to be able to put up on our borders, every road entering Arizona, a billboard from the governor. Say, welcome to Arizona where the people are free, friendly, happy, and armed. <laughs> but, but a to do. So to enjoy your visit to the best possible means, be on your best behavior. I think that would be an appropriate thing, and if you want to see Arizona in a positive light, I'm asking for your vote. We can do it. There is no reason not to, unless you just want more of the same. Because if you vote Republican or Democrat, more strangling re regulations, higher taxes, and a lower standard of living, I'll offer you the opposites in every case. Because libertarians come with a money-back guarantee. Thank you. I'll stick around as long as possible. To, just a, a couple of questions. Is that all right? Oh, I have a gentleman back here. The, 
It kind of reminds me of Walt Disney, one of my heroes when I was younger. Yes, sir. Uh, I didn't understand your solution to the border problem. We shut it down, allowing people to come through, but they cannot have uh, 